So guys, welcome to your third PHP tutorial, and today we're going to be talking about how to use some basic math in our PHP. So, so far what we learned is pretty much we can have a variable, and the variable can be anything, and we can set it equal to a number. And if we went and we wanted an output on a screen, we would write echo, and we would write the variable. And then when we went ahead and saved that, it would set it equal to 34. And if you don't know what I'm doing, then go watch my other tutorials. Because I'm not explaining it again. Now, today I told you we're going to be going over some basic math. And this is what I mean by this. PHP, besides being able to just to write crap on a screen, is pretty much like a big calculator. So what this means is you can do basic math functions right in your variable. So for example, if you wanted to do 34 plus uh, whatever that is, I'll save it and do that. And as you can see, it outputs it right on the screen for you. So again, you can do bas basic math functions right in your variable. So 54 minus 90 and we save that and refresh it as you can see it gave us minus 36 so again set the variable equal to what other whatever equation you have and then it echoes or displays the output right on the screen so say we have this variable called anything and we'll set it equal to 66 what we can also do is have another variable called something and we'll set it equal to 85 besides just making the equation up here right in the variable you can also make it in your echo statement so say we have anything plus the variable something when we save this and refresh our page can see that PHP automatically added our two variables for us. Now this is useful whenever you want to perform a function on two separate variables. And there's a bunch of different stuff you can do. You can of course add, subtract using the subtract shine, sign, sorry, multiply using the asterisk, divide using the backslash, if you want to divide and get the remainder, you use the percentage sign. If you want to set it equal to, use two equal signs and use two and signs. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and list all of these on my website and not go through them all. So if you want to learn everything that you can do, then just check out my website, thenewboston.com, but I really don't feel like going through all of them for you right now. So again, what we learned today, to do some basic math, you can either include it right in the variable, or you can add or do different things to two separate variables right in your echo statement. So that's it for this tutorial. Watch my next tutorial. See you.